presentation today was a study involving UCLA, Cal State, Fresno, and UC Davis looking at com chemical components in ambient particles that generate reactive oxygen species. And reactive oxygen species are compounds that are believed to un underlie um, inflammation and oxidative stress, which in turn underlie a large range of disease outcomes associated with particle inhalation. So on my part, we looked at uh, a number of laboratory studies to identify the reactivity of individual metals and quinones in ambient particles, how well they can generate uh, oxidants. And then we did some field uh, tests looking at uh, particles that our collaborators collected and we measured how much oxidant they could generate and then correlated that with the lab results to try to understand which particle components will make oxygen. Well, my specific part was to measure levels of quinones, which is one of those components that we think are potentially responsible. So we conducted field measurements in two sites and collected about 100 samples and then analyzed those for the concentrations of a range of these, these chemicals. We um, did two field campaigns, one in Claremont in the Los Angeles area and one in Fresno and collected a whole lot of samples. And then we analyzed some of those samples and our colleagues at Fresno and Davis also analyzed some of the samples and we performed different assays. So we were looking at components of particulate matter and trying to understand the relationship between those components and their ability to generate reactive oxygen species in a variety of assays. Uh, with the idea that some of those will give us some idea as to the possible health implications of, of those constituents. Well, what we find based on our method is that uh, copper is the dominant particle species that generates oxygen, uh, which is important because it may mean that copper is responsible for some component of the deaths and uh, morbidity caused by inhaling ambient particles. Um, health effects associated with particle inhalation is a very complex question. And there are uh, many angles that are worthy of further study. Our work is all based on uh, laboratory studies looking at relatively simple solutions. When you talk about ambient particle extracts, there are a lot of components in there that may be influencing the chemistry. So we'd like to understand, do the components of particles affect the results that you get? So we've done work in this project with chemical assays, which tells us a lot. Um, the next step really is to look at, at cell assays, and we've started working on that. We're interested to see if those results really carry forward and, and show the same uh, compounds that are important.